Hey guys, how are you going? And hey, welcome back to another episode of this Cricket 22 career mode. In today's episode, we are going to be playing a cheeky Boxing Day test here. And uh, of course, we're playing New Zealand in the second test match. We are currently 1-0 uh, up in the series of sm uh, absolute smashing in the first test. Uh, so yeah, let's get down to the G for this Boxing Day test. I think this might be our first, potentially, uh, Boxing Day test, maybe second. Uh, but let's give it a nudge. And here we are. Welcome to the... Melbourne Cricket Ground for well, this a Boxing Day test. I believe we've gone unchanged. New Zealand have also potentially gone unchanged. Interesting. Don't quite know what to make of it, especially with those three bowlers, especially on the Melbourne Cricket Ground pitch. You got three bowlers. You're in for a rough time. Hard standard. We look. We have lost the toss. And New Zealand have chosen to bat. Here we go, having a trundle, nice at 13.54. Three for 30 off 11, not a great start. Latham, we ran Latham out, second ball of the test, okay. Uh, Conway four, Richardson gets Williamson for one. James and Nichols at the crease. Now, the last two times that Nichols has faced was bowl, uh, bad, sorry. He's run himself out, hitting it to mid off. So we're gonna keep mid off there. And hopefully we can do it again because if he does, that's the hat trick, and that is uh, a hat trick of brain fades. And we do love a good brain fade, so hopefully we can see something silly there. Just want to get that mid wicket out, put him there. Right, that will work. Let's go. Three for thirty. That's good wheels early on. Uh, the crowd slowly filtering in here for this Boxing Day test. Should be a good one. Bit overcast. Supposed to be a bit of uh, non-existent rain here. The pitch seems to be carrying through quite nicely. It is a hard standard pitch. So should get some nice bounce. And uh, as we've already seen, a few wickets already fallen. There we go. That one's moved in quite a bit. Started very well here for James, who the weakest skill is the glance. So we won't be trying that today. Not at the moment anyway with this field. Once again, great areas uh, being bold here. Try and get another dot ball so we get that uh, that sixth and final ball of the over, which some weird stuff could occur. And here we go, James, mate. Are you going to try and leave it again for a maiden, or are you going to flash the bat at it? No, leaves it. That's a outstanding maiden. There we go. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, run out. Surely not. I can't believe that's happened. What? Third time in a row. We, we... We were talking about it. I was talking about it thinking this was not going to happen. I can't believe that. He's done it three times in a row. Nichols, what have you done? <laughs> that is one of the more funnier things that we've seen. In this career mode, I reckon. Oh my lord. Is that Freeman again? It's. <laughs> Imagine having uh, Freeman having a bunny in Nichols, but not because he's bowling. Just because he hits it to him. Does he think he's a shit fielder? Because three times in a row dictates that, you know, he can hit the stumps. What the actual. What? Oh, what is going on? I am bamboozled by what is occurring out here. Uh, I mean, has anyone seen anything like it? Because I certainly haven't. It is just brain fades of the highest order. And it's usually us on the receiving end, but this time it's Henry Nichols, who's just had a brain fade for the ages. I am... Wow. Well, you know what? That's not great for New Zealand. Four for 35. Coming back after a little spell there. Four overs. None for five. Four for 43 of 20. Slow start. But I mean, loss of wickets quite regularly have sort of restricted them in the scoring any runs. Sort of more survival at this stage. 10 overs left before lunch. We'll be looking to get another one. Oh, there's going to be another run out. Nah, he's actually dived this time. He's done what Nichols should have because if he didn't dive, I was going to say probably long gone. So it's a good, nice run. Risky, but. They've got to try something to just not stop the runs at all. 4 for 44, going at twos. 
Well, we can get five down before lunch. I mean, it's already looking pretty grim for them at the moment, but five down would be struggle street. I reckon James is schnicking off this this over. He just plays and misses so often in the game. He's really struggling against this uh, this pace. I think only a matter of time before he gets a tickle through to the keeper. Oh, what? Oh, he's hit it. Oh, no way. What have you? That is inexcusable. You've been all over her better. You want to keep him on straight. You want to keep bowling to him. And it goes straight to Manus, hits him. He doesn't try to stop it or anything. Slits it, hits him, and they get off. They get a uh, get a single, get off strike. So that's pretty shot. Although now we're bowling to Blundell, he seems to be having a similar sort of difficulty against this bowling. Hits that one all right. No idea. That's how you field the ball, mate. Oh, wow. Ball. What a ball. We're back. Seven overs, three minutes, down for seven. It is just after t uh, lunch here. Start of session two, five for 70. Uh, looks like Blundell's gone. James still out there, struggling. 23 off 73. Wilson, 11 off 24. Not looking good for the Kiwis at the moment. And the bowling, a nice length. Oh, yes. Come on, James. No. First real shite ball on the legs there. And uh, not even on the legs, it was straight, but... Something tells me, even though his weakest skill is the glance, something tells me that he likes anything straight. That's a pretty poor ball to be fair. First boundary off the bowling. Actually, no, second. There's an inside edge, I think. Waiting. So that's not great. Releases the shackle somewhat on James. We were all over him before that. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Goodness me, James. Just makes me want to hunt the stumps, but I know he'll probably just play it very nicely. Yep, like that. Uh, he is, uh, we're falling into his trap here. He's going to go for another four. Got a short mid wicket and a square leg now. Took out Gully in first slip. Oh! James! Loves a play and miss. Oh, you're kidding. That's, a, that's an edge too. Holy smokes. Batting. We are now batting. 41.43 average, 450s, 3 tons. Daniel bowling. Let's see what happened. So they ended up with 172 all out with Nathan James 74 somehow off 200 balls. Keeler, who I believe is a batter, 34 off 109. Decent little ninth wicket partnership there, 69. And then Green Forfa. We didn't pick up a wicket. Hmm. Interesting. And now 5 for 190, Marn 74, everyone's got to start. We lead by 18. Do we just try and bat once? Well, I mean, that's, that's the goal. It's only, it's still day one. No, uh, day two. Day two, three o'clock. So, we have scored a 98. We scored in, uh, was it 98 or 92? I want to say 92, actually. I think. In the last match against this bowling attack. Can we go one step further try and hit our first ton with these sliders. Seven balls, zero runs. What's going on? Yep. There we go. Oh! Oh, hang on. I thought he stopped that. That's racing away. I could go for four. Large boundaries here at the G. We know this. We're going to run four. Oh, I'm running five. No! I wanted to run five and we would have made it. Oh, imagine getting off the mark with a five. How many times would that have happened in test cricket? Damn. Now, well, four off eight to kickstart our account. Later 31. Yep. Oh, that's a nice shot. Nice little gap finder for one. Yep. Shot. Just another single. They didn't time it the best. Five for 205. Lead is being built upon. Not massive, but it's a start. Now we just need to form a nice little partnership with Manus here. And uh, we'll be away laughing. South is back. Minus 83 here. And we're going around three and over. Not too bad. Shot. Oh, smash straight to cover. I just noticed we've lost mana. So Cam Green, the new batter. Not great. Oh, that's out. Played it late. I played it a bit too late. And I'm a fuckwit. Sometimes you just have to, uh, to fess up. And uh, there we go. Don't know why. I just don't know why. 
Well, nice little edge. That's normally how we get out of these days. Caught behind because our timing sucks. 7 off 18. One of the worst knocks you'll see. And 9 down for... What do we get? 230? It's a test match of moving at a rapid rate of knots here. Haven't really contributed much at all. It's Tommy. 69 still at 13.87. 1 for 18. Uh, what do we get? 235. Jameson Pfeiffer. Wow, okay. Still so three balls used for 80 overs. We have a lead of 45 runs. I will continue this new, newish field. 1 for 18. Slow start. Latham and Williamson at the crease. Here we go. Oh, that is moving nicely. Really want to bowl when Nichols comes out. Cause surely you can't go four times in a row. Surely not. Oh, what a ball. Kane had no idea. I'll take a replay here. Just good areas. Good seam preso. Oh, pitched and just jagged away ever so slightly here. Oh, that's sensational. Got him. Oh, poor Tommy Latham. Leg some out the ground. Ah, uh, yes, that, uh, that's unfortunate. Wide Yorker. Big old inside edge. And Latham goes for 25, bringing James to the crease. We've been all over him in the first innings, although he did get a few away. But he ultimately looked like he struggled once we put on a good line of length. Oh, that's why we got this field now. Oh, absolute pearl at the end of the 22nd over. Jams and all sorts. And the lads walking out to the crease here. It's day three, the start of day three. Just want to get Nichols in. I want to see what is, just what he's planning to do because I would love to see another run out. Anyway, back for our sixth over, one for one. Williamson on strike. Blocks that one pretty nicely. What the hell happened there? What? A second bold of the innings, but that was weird. Did he, he just completely miss that? That was a yuck shot, to be fair. Top of off. James, we finally got our man. And here we go, Nichols. Uh, I need to see this again because that shot was all sorts of brain fady. Let's have a look. All right, here we go. Goes back. Look at where... He's just missed it, but look at where... He's just missed it by so much. And that has just hit the top of off. That's perfect line and length there. It's exactly what it, where you want to hit it. Top of off. That's perfect. That is sensational. I can't believe how much he missed this by, though. Let's look at it. Oh, man. It's almost like he was scared with the ball of how far I went back. Yeah, that's grim. Absolutely grim. Right, here we go. The field is set. <laughs> Guess who's there? Freeman's at deep mid-off. I think he's usually been deep mid-off, so that's all right. Because he probably wouldn't run, take it on, if it was just a regulation mid-off. Oh, I just don't know. Drives it, though, straight away, first ball. Anyway, two for two. Let's go a bit fuller, get him to drive to mid-off. Oh, that's... Damn, <laughs> semi-upset it didn't get run out for the fourth time in a row. Oh, that was cool. That just looked so quick. So we bowled, had two bowls in the one over. We've booked into the, the over. Oh, actually, no, we haven't. Oh, that was only second ball. Wow. As you can see in the the ball, ball's down there. Uh, what? We now have three wickets. We've just clean, well, not clean bowled both blokes, but we've clean, actually, no, we have. Yeah, clean, bow, clean bowled both bats this over. Mate, that was there to drive. I wanted you to drive it to mid off, not just, it's like half folly areas. Off stump once again. Well, we're on fire. What do we have? Three for two. Blundell. This is some cooked areas here. New Zealand capitulating. Finally, we're doing something though, to be fair. First uh, an instant guinea wicket. It's only scored seven, I think. But now we've taken three for two. All top order. Oh, that was yuck. Luckily, we've got that square leg there. Cheeky double wicket made in there. And all three of our wickets have been bowled. Three for two. Ooh, this is our eighth over as well. Jeez. Struggling to get us away here. Still trail by six. I find it uh, we quite difficult if we're going to be uh, to bat again for us. Ooh, that's nice. Well, better tap in there. One by ten wickets. We've won the series 2-0. 
Five the match, is that Joshy Hazelwood? It is. What did he do? He took five for 17 there in the second innings. Let's have a look. So we bowled first. We took none for, none for 23 of 12. We batted, we scored seven off 18, pretty yuck stuff, but the bat, the bowling in the second innings was outstanding. Hazelwood cleaned up the tail, a few junk times there. Uh, he picked up five for 17 off 8.3. Freeman, two for 36 off 11. We picked up three for two off eight overs with six maidens. And then chase it down with an inside seven overs. Well, that's uh, comprehensive. So uh, that's going to be it for the episode. Let's actually take a look at the standings. Uh, we have second most runs. We have 137 runs at 45s, minus on top of 222. Then James, then Latham, then Street. Uh, bowling wise, Southie's got 10, Jameson's 10. I mean, that's what you expect. All three of those New Zealand bowlers are the only bowlers. So you'd expect that to take the majority of the wickets. Richardson and Hazelwood, nine apiece at a nice average. Uh, player of the series at the moment is minus 313, then Jai, then us at 237. Pretty tight there, minus walking away with it though. Then Jameson and Southie. Uh, who's taking, uh, yeah, minus, yeah, we've seen that. Minus most runs, Southie most wickets. We've got five poles at 15s. So that's nice. We've got one more game remaining, and that is at the Adelaide Oval. Then we've got some ODIs against New Zealand. So it's uh, enjoyable times. Anyway, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're feeling up to it, leave a comment down below. Always appreciating those. But uh, until then, take it easy.